Welcome to Atticon Plays Railroad Corporation. All right. Hi, this is Atticon, and welcome to Series 10, Episode 4 of our look at the Railroad Corporation Civil War DLC. We just finished Mission 1, did great on that. We have a fully um, researched Forney now to use going forward. And uh, let's see what Mission 2 looks like. We're stepping into new ground. I, I haven't seen this one at all. So let's see what, it, what they come up with for us. Now in the last one, we sort of uh, played both sides of the fence. We, um, we gained brownie points with the north and the south. So we're, we should be able to go either way here. Okay, so it brought us back right to the end of our first one. So here we are finishing off our first mission. We didn't do that, but we didn't really need it because we had, uh, you know, both sides were that army request. We already had plenty of brownie points with the army. So let's go on to the next mission. That one took a long time to load. I think it's because we were doing a lot there. Okay, our victory in the gunpowder gave us access to military contracts. We're chosen as a supplier. They've already ordered a big shipment of uniforms. There's no cotton left in local warehouses. We can get buy cotton on the global market, and I hope more cotton will arrive to local ports eventually. Okay, so we're going to have to get into the marketing stuff, which I haven't done much of, so this will be interesting. All right. Uh, recently, a confrontation has arisen. Managed to get agreement with farmers from the south to sell us cotton from their fields. Many there have heard that our company delivered gunpowder to South Carolina ready to help us. Additionally, we can arrange the supply of necessary commodities to Richmond. There at the local warehouse, they will gladly accept gunpowder, brick, steel, and lumber. By delivering these goods, we will show the whole South that they can rely on us. So, hmm, we seem to be uh, favoring the South here. And what do we got here? Okay, Richmond. So we can sell gunpowder, brick, steel, and lumber to Richmond, I'm assuming in exchange for cotton. Let's just see what we have here. Let's put it on pause again. Um, where do we start? We start in Philadelphia, which is a nice, uh, nice, good, a level 35 city. Wilmington is good size. Baltimore is big. Uh, Washington is big. Okay, look, looking good here. Fredericksburg, decent size. And here we go. Here's Richmond. Okay, they have a warehouse where we can sell stuff. Bricks. I don't remember having bricks before as a commodity. That, that, I think it's new to this game, isn't it? Look at all this. Oh, here's a oh a brick a brick works just takes coal and converts it to brick. So the coal's for heating furnaces, I guess. They have that in Lynchburg. Interesting. Okay, we have to supply uniforms to Washington. So this okay. So we're still <laughs> okay. We're still treading the water here. We are working for the army, but we're having to do stuff in the south down in Richmond. So we need to run up our reputation with the army and the southern businesses. And it looks like it, I don't know, that. I think that's where we, yeah, I think that's where we left off from mission one. So one feeds into the next one. So I guess we could have kept going on that first one and run this up even higher and had that be automatic, but that would make it too easy, wouldn't it? What we got here? We've got a cotton field in Chesapeake. That's useful. We've got textiles here that uh, that can create the um, take the cotton, make textiles. Now, how do we make uniforms? Now, unfortunately, in this game, oh, here we go. What's this? Okay, here we go. Uh, uniform is sort of now a byproduct of clothing. So when you're making clothing with a clothes factory, you bring in the leather and the uh, cloth, and then now you get both um, 
clothes and uniforms. So we can we can get into the clothing business and uh, use that. The clothing will make us a lot of money, and the uniforms we can deliver to our contract. I'm assuming there's a contract in Washington. Yeah, right here. There's an army camp that's going to be taking these uh, uniforms, and they take clothing. So we could ship clothing and uniforms uh, up to Washington from, say, Charlottesville would be an easy thing to get into. And we've already gotten, they've given us a trading department by default. And that trading department is where we can take our warehouses and buy stuff, I guess. Yeah, so let's see, how could we run this? Uh, we could do wheat to the farm, then leather to Charlottesville. Then we could run cotton from Chesapeake over to Petersburg, and then textiles up here to Charlottesville, and then export, well, take both the uniforms and the clothing up to D.C., up here, and make a whole bunch of money on all of that. We could also stay in, it looks like we can do... Um, uh, let's see. Do we have everything we need to make gunpowder? We could probably get in the gunpowder business as well. Hmm. We only have 126000 We don't have a lot of starting money. What's she going to do? She would be nice to have because you can cram more employees into your office. But um, too soon to do that. And I wish, I wish, I wish I knew if there's more research and there's no way to know until we put in a research department. So, all right, the first thing we're going to do is put in a finance department. Uh, upgrade finance, okay. And we're gonna need money to start us. So we're gonna give ourselves some seed money by our usual passenger and mail stuff. But the nice thing is, again, we've got the fully upgraded Forney here, so it's a great passenger hauler. Yeah, we just, if we just connect some big cities, like one, There's two. Can we get to Washington before we do our bond? Easily. There's three. And let's open up a bond. Spread the payments, get as much money as we can. Let's grab a 40. And let's set it on. Uh, whoops. Let's not tell me anything. Let's do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Let's set our speed limit around 60. So we've got nine passengers. And you know, I don't, uh, I'm going to start this over. My little brain, I got to start this over. I want to do Baltimore first because we're going to get there first. I'm trying to set, go down here and set the farthest one away so I, it'll be easy to set the next one without them having to interfere with each other. So one, two, nine. Add Baltimore, add Washington. Whoop. We can, looks like we can run six uh, mail. 
Unload six, load six. Unload six. Apply. And let's get, um, make sure we have at least one repair, if not two. Yeah, all right. All right, let's just let that Forney run until we have enough money to get another one and we'll put it on Wilmington to Baltimore. Then we'll get another one and put it on Philadelphia to Wilmington. Good reputation with the Army Command. I'm anxious to request to use their warehouse in Philadelphia. I'm sure that it will be very useful for us because we won't be able to buy cotton on the commodity exchange if necessary. But I also found out the Army is ready to accept not only their soldiers' uniforms for the main order, but also gunpowder, brick, steel, lumber. All these commodities must be sold at Army Camp in Washington. So there, there's a whole bunch of stuff we can sell at the Army Camp in Washington and probably have unlimited... Um, unlimited um, what am I trying to say demand meaning we can however much we can manage to sell that's how much we can sell and these 40s are so fast I may turn this off um, the uh, run full yeah I'm, I'm gonna have to because we're gonna have trains hitting it from both sides so we're going to make everything optional that you load. They're so fast and they can carry so much compared to what we've been doing with the John Bulls that, um, you know, this is a different world here. Okay, so go. Forney's cost us. They cost us 60. Okay. Oh, any employees worth having? I have both good and bad news. The good news is that the Salisbury merchants managed to deliver a shipment of cotton to the local port. That's all the good news. Now, the bad news, the shipment is tiny. That amount of cotton is barely enough for a single carriage of uniforms. Also, the next shipment won't be soon, and there are no guarantees about the amount of cotton in it. Um, I, I, I'm kind of thinking we may need to get down here and start grabbing this cotton fast because I have a feeling it's going to go away. It just smells like that, doesn't it? Okay, finally we can buy another 40 and we can go and I really man I keep crying for this but I wish I could hold down control when I was clicking these and then make these optional that's Wilmington
Oh, shift and click affects a group. Oh, oh, that's good. Oh, hooray, hooray. Okay, they did do that. Excellent, excellent. So we can put them in and then make them all optional. Beautiful, beautiful. Well done, guys. We'll just do it on this end, these two ends because we can't afford the station right now. And go. Now, as soon as we get one running right here, then we'll uh, look into getting into all some of this other stuff that's out there. What's this? A law sells gunpowder higher. We don't care. Right now. <laughs> we may care. But it's not worth buying a... Um... Oh, where are we on our... Okay. Let's close out this one, open up a bigger one. Or no, I think... I think we're going to just go ahead. Once we hit 60, we're going to get another train going. Then the next thing we'll do is close out our bond. So here we go. We've got six. And hold down shift. Beautiful. Way to go, guys. Add Philly. Add Wilmington. Load, unload, load, apply, and let's put a uh, repair there. Okay. So now we've got three trains running. It won't be long before they're all making us nice profits. Uh, rails, the rails guy wouldn't be bad, but there's other stuff we need worse than those guys. Now we gotta think about this for a second. 70 uniforms and cotton See, there's only six left in that Salisbury port. So they're telling us something here. They're telling us, you know, this stuff is going to dry up in a hurry. And what's this? Oh, uh, okay. So we kind of need a place to store this stuff. I think the place to put it would be if, if we could put, if there's space... No, I'd, I'd love to put it in Washington because that's where, well, or Fredericksburg. Fredericksburg would be great because that's where the cotton is needed. Um, is it too early to get into that? It's too early. We don't have enough of an engine yet. Let's go... Let's set up a line right here and let's buy, get another 40 and have it run between these two. Whoops. OK. 
Okay, that'll give us another another good line. Once he works his way down there. You know, this clothes factory is actually selling uniforms at a, at a higher price. But we're not going to put up with that for long. We'll have our own clothes. The plan is to have our own clothes factory. In fact, I don't know why we wouldn't want to have it right here. Oh, we don't have any competition. <laughs> okay, this is, this is going to be a little bit easier. All right, so this could be eventually, I mean, we could put a warehouse in here. I think that's the first thing we have to do. We have to get a warehouse in here. And then cotton. See, we could buy cotton for 2000 and make textiles. And sell those for thirteen thousand, which would be a good deal. We buy five. I don't know, but we can't get them in there. We need a train to actually move them over there. So this T four, when he comes down to Fredericksburg. He's going to load cotton optionally out of there, and he's going to place it at Fredericksburg again. He's going to unload into our textile factory. And he's going to load a couple of cotton optionally. Sell that cotton. And finally load his mail and go back to Washington. Let's just watch him do his thing here, make sure this all works. He's unloading his uh, mail. He's loading up the cotton. He's putting the cotton in the textile plant. There wasn't anything ready, that's fine, but now we've got the textiles are being made. Our money's racking up. Okay, we're looking good. Okay, we've got a little engine that's working, so what do we want to do next? Oh. Well, you know what the first thing we want to do Well, they won't let us buy this. We can't buy that textile factory. That kind of sucks.
What's this law? Uh, yeah, we want that law to pass. So let's go. <sighs> let's put it, put it in a decent law lobby. Wood, grain, passengers. This one here, let's just fire everybody at that. We definitely want that one to pass because we're going to grab a forney and go to here. Add Fredericksburg, add Richmond. Set up repairs in Richmond. That gives us another line that works. And I really want to get over here to this cotton field. But what I'd like to do is have our own um, hmm. our own can we buy that one? No, we can't. Can we buy the cotton field? No, we can't. Can we buy stuff in the north? <laughs> Can we buy that furniture factory? No. Okay, we seem to have, be unable to buy things. So we can either just keep... Ah, man. We can... I think we can construct our own. But I think we'd probably be better off just... Uh, working this through, um, you know, the buy-sell stuff. So we've got these Fornies run, running strong lines for us, and we want to keep that up. We want to keep having really good um, passenger mail lines because I think we're going to need some money here. And we got to ha we have to, to be safe, we have to have a good, solid, economic engine to run off of because uh, we're going to be keep buying this stuff. We're not, we're not going to be able to get this stuff for free, so to speak. After, you know, after we, own, in other words, we can't own industries and, and really make, make the mega bucks that way. So we're going to have to make our money by buying and selling products all over the place. And that has a certain inherent risk to it. So once we have enough money, we'll put a um, forney on this line right here. We're not doing okay. Forney, buy a forney. Go to Richmond. OK, 
Okay, I keep forgetting about that uh, bond, so we're going to hold off here now and uh, gather up 70 grand, pay that off, and open up a bigger bond so we can keep expanding. So redeem that one. Okay, now we got some money, 200,000. All right, so... I guess we'll use Fredericksburg as our textile factory. So we're going to run that cotton. I think I want to line Petersburg to Chesapeake, but I also want a direct line that runs that uh, cotton straight up here so we don't mess with the other cities. So let's build, let's do both, of course. can hire a haul nine cotton up here and load maybe we could do a mixture four and three and unload four and three like that. And go. That'll give us cotton. And let's run a line between here and here. Okay, so we'll haul stuff back and forth here. We've got our cotton line going this way. And um, what we could do, in fact, is have our change our cotton line slightly and have it load into this warehouse. And we, nah, it's just complication for nothing. Okay. What do we got? Male profit goes up. Okay, we definitely want her. Um, let's set up an HR office. We'll take that mail transportation. And we'll take this guy. Max mileage goes up. We can run the same 40s longer. Each one of them costs us less to run. Okay.
I'm looking for a wheat field down here in Lynchburg. We're going to have to run Lynchburg to Lexington to the farm, the farm to the clothing factory, and then the textiles to the clothing factory. And then haul all of this stuff up to Washington, which isn't that far. Okay. Sorry, uh, I'm just thinking. <laughs> Bad habit I have. All right. our cotton line getting ready to take off to for Fredericksburg. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Uh, let's um, hmm. Hmm. start getting the other pieces of this. So Fredericksburg is becoming a very important place for us. We'll make it a super station and we'll run a line that goes to Charlottesville to the clothing factory. And then we'll run a line that goes to the farm back here. And then we'll wait to see if we get some money. Ooh, ooh, I want, I want this person right here. Um, upgrade. Okay, we're paying our employees less, and when they take up less space, they need less space to to work. All right. So let's see. Now we want to go from the farm. Lynchburg, which also has a cotton field. Did I misread this? Oh, it has a wheat field. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for the wheat. Okay. So we want to put a train on this wheat field. Two, four, six, it can all eight. And he can bring back passengers. Okay. Apply. Apply. And I want to have repairs set up. Make some money. Repair set up here. Okay, so now we're gonna have wheat coming to this farm. I hope I sent it to the right thing. Yes. The next thing we need is a train that goes from the farm. Okay, here we go. Demand for pyrite, saltpeter, wood, and coal ore is expected to grow. 
which means we could make money on it, but that's not what we're trying to do here. Okay, three, six, seven. Can't really haul anything back, so go. And then we want a line that goes from the textiles seven to here. And picks up eight of those and takes them to our army camp and then uh, see loads optionally unloads three six three six there we go apply and then I want to actually copy this guy but I'm going to have him pick up clothing Hmm. Now, what we could do here is have a warehouse in D.C. that we dump the clothing into. Well, we can't yet. When D.C. grows. And then distribute it from there rather than this because what's going to happen is that uh, Washington is going to quickly uh, fill up with clothing. That won't be a problem for our army stuff because I think even though that's a zero of 30 I think it'll keep uh, consuming it at a fast rate uh, at least that's how it worked in mission one with the gunpowder so go all right so let's let's see what happens here I think I think I got that right we're taking wheat here we're making the leather we're taking the leather here to Charlottesville. We're taking our textiles that we're making to Charlottesville and then we're going to take the stuff back to Washington that they make. All right, that should work, which also says while we have the funds, we should be double tracking definitely this line right here. All right, let's uh, wrap up this episode right here. We basically laid the foundation for this mission. We have a good little economic engine, passengers and mail, and we've just set up the, the our first clothing production and uniform creation and delivery to Washington, D.C. So in the next episode, we'll expand on that and we'll see what other uh, trouble we can get into. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it'll help you become a better player, and I hope you'll join us for our next Railroad Corporation video. Thank you.